What's going on guys, Chanel Stevens here. I'm back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the fastest way that you can make $10,000 per month with CPA marketing. Now, I'm the best person to teach you this because I'm an actual super affiliate and I make three to 5K every single day with CPA affiliate marketing. Now, with this, I'm gonna break down the numbers so you can understand how much is gonna be profit, how much you're gonna need to spend, how many clicks you're gonna need to send, all that type of stuff. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I drop videos on CPA, affiliate marketing. So if you're interested in learning from an actual super affiliate who's done all this stuff that I'm talking about myself and I'm a living testimony, then make sure you smash that subscribe button. All right guys, so let's jump right into it. I don't wanna waste any of your time. So first thing that I want you to do is, once you start running traffic, I want you to send at least 100 clicks a day for a week. So send 100. All right, so send 100 clicks per day for a week. Now, why do I want you to send 100 clicks a day for a week? The biggest thing I see with newbies is you guys are trying to get data. You're trying to determine things of how the campaign is gonna run and be able to scale with very, very little data. That's why I want you guys to focus on sending enough traffic because if you can send enough traffic, then you can actually determine what your numbers are gonna look like because what you're trying to do with these 100 clicks uh, a day for a week is setting us up for step two, which is determining EPC. So if you send 100 clicks for seven days after one week, you should have 700 clicks and 700 clicks to your actual offer should show you what your EPC is kind of averaging out around. So after 700 clicks, you should be able to see your EPC, you know, 75 cent, a dollar, dollar 25, a dollar 50, a dollar 75, whatever your EPC is, you can get that actual information from your affiliate network. After you send in 100 clicks per day, you determine your EPC and you get the number. And after you get that number, number three is you wanna comb through your data and you want to optimize for lowest CPCs. If you're in Facebook, say we're just taking Facebook ads for example. If you're in Facebook ads and you're sending 100 clicks per day for one week, after that week you're going to know your EPC and you're going to probably be paying a little higher CPC during that first week. You know, your page might be brand new, you're dialing in, you're testing different targeting options and stuff like that. So everything is not going to be optimized. And this first week and after sending this traffic is not going to reflect the true potential of the campaign unless you start optimizing for your low CPC and figuring out how much your clicks are costing you. So when you first launch your campaign, you might see 75 cent clicks, right? Then, you know, on the first day. Then the second day, it might drop down to 50. Then the next day, it might drop down to 40. Then the next day, it might be 35 cents. So you just wanna keep trying to optimize this to get lower. And if you're inside Mobile Academy, then you know all my optimization techniques and how I actually comb through the data. But you wanna make sure that you're focusing on getting the lowest cost per click. And you can do that by segmenting your actual audiences and really dialing in on your targeting. Also, I just wanna go through like an example of what $10,000 a month might look like with CPA marketing. Let's say instead of 100 clicks, so let's just say you want to make $10,000 a month, you want to be a super affiliate, I say send thousands of clicks a day, that's what I actually do, but you know, you might just be getting started, so I'll say aim for 10,000 clicks per month, right? So let's say you got 10,000 clicks per month, so that actually averaged out to 2,500 per week. So this is per month, 10,000 clicks per month will have you at 2,500 clicks per week and you'll, that'll be about 357 per day. So the ultimate goal is to be sending about 300 some clicks a day. If you're just getting started, this number needs to be higher. Of course, I send thousands of clicks every day. So if you wanna be like me, you'll have to be like me. But I'm just giving you beginner statistics you know, you wanna just make $10,000 a month. You're not looking to make $100,000 a month, you know, your first time doing this. You're looking to, you know, just make 5K, 10K. We're doing 10K for this example. It says 10,000 clicks, 357 per day. Now let's just say uh, these clicks are costing you 25 cents, right? So let's just say also that your EPC is a dollar. So that's your EPC. So we'll say CPC. 
EPC, right? Now let me actually clear off this board so I can make more room so I can break this down. All right, so I got the board clean. What I want to go ahead and do, so we're saying uh, we have the CPC down optimized to about 25 cents and we have our EPC at one dollar and you guys may be thinking well this is not possible that's not cpa market i do this stuff every single day so a lot of people that's like oh cpa market you don't make no profit all sort of stuff they don't know how to optimize they don't know how to run ads they're not good at pay traffic period because every affiliate knows this is like you can get decent rois with any type of offer this is just an example some epcs might vary might be 75 cent whatever Whatever, if your EPC is lower, that just means your CPC. The lower your EPC, the lower your CPC is going to have to be. The higher EPC, the more room you have for CPC. So the higher you can pay per actual click. So let's say you want to make $10,000 a month, right? So you will have to pay, do 357 times 0.25. And that'll equal out about $90 a day in ad spend. But if your EPC is a dollar, so for every click you're earning a dollar, that's basically what your EPC means. It's just like an average number that they take. And what you want to do is you'll times that. So this will be actually $357. So if you want your actual profit, you'll do 357 minus 90, and that gives you 267. So all in all, if you were, you know, you send 10000 of those clicks, that'll be $10,000. So That'll be actual revenue. So this is doing $10,000 in revenue with CPA marketing. So if you wanted to actually determine your actual profit, what you would want to do is you would want to basically just times this number by 30. So that would be about $8,000 or so in profit. So this is your actual profit. And you can kind of see how that works out. So doing $10,000 in revenue, the profit is going to be determined by how much you're spending per click. You have to optimize for your lowest CPC. Now, this is the most important part, and you need to stick with offers that's going to give you a decent EPC. I mean, you can still make $10,000 a month. I had offers where my EPC was $0.30, cent, $0.40, cent, and I still was able to make 200% ROI, 300% ROI, 400% ROI because my CPC was so, so low because you just drive this down $0.15, cents, $0.13, cents, and, you know, if your EPC is 50 cents and that'll be about 35 cent profit 35 cent profit for each click that you send so all you got to do is just send as many clicks as you can so basically the name of the game and i don't know if you can kind of realize what i'm doing and how i'm breaking this down but with cpa marketing it's all about getting low cpc high epc and once you got those numbers worked out to where you're generating an actual profit for each click that you send, send as many clicks as you can. I wouldn't just stop at 357 clicks. If you have numbers like this, you need to scale to the moon. You need to send thousands and thousands of clicks. And that's why you see me sending thousands of, thousands of clicks because this is how the math be working out. So a lot of you guys are like, you know, what's your profit, all this other stuff. I wouldn't be sending the clicks if I wasn't making money. And it's not no, I'm making, it's 80 cents and you know, I'm, I'm getting a dollar back. To me, I wouldn't do that. Like, I need this number much lower. I'm looking for at least 200%, 300% ROI if I'm going to scale traffic. Otherwise, it's not worth my time because I don't like making pennies in, when I'm investing my money. You know, some people are like, well, it's more than what the bank would give you and stuff like that. I personally just don't like that. So with any income goal that you may have, always make sure that you're doing the math. Um, if your goal is $5,000 a month or if it's $2,500 to replace your income, all you have to do is just do the math like how I did here, figure out the type of, how many clicks you're going to need, the type of EPC you're doing. You know, of course, start sending 100 clicks a day so you can determine that stuff. You know, spend the money. Invest in your campaigns. Invest in the data so you'll be able to do this. And um, all my optimization techniques are in Mogul Academy for all my students out there. So make sure you go over that section once you get to the optimizer for your lowest CPC part. Also, another super affiliate tip basically that I'm going to give you guys is inside these CPA networks. What you can do is you can actually talk to your affiliate manager and what they'll do is they'll give you a, it's called a, like a GEPC, global EPC, but what I call it is a set EPC. So this set EPC, basically the affiliate network, no matter how many clicks you send, what your EPC is in a dashboard, 
they're gonna automatically give you a set EPC for each click that you send. So you have to work out a deal with your affiliate manager. It may be a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. Um, you know, it's gonna be a good deal for both of y'all. So you'll tell them what you need, what kind of EPC you're looking for to, you know, give you that leverage so that you can scale these campaigns and start sending more traffic. And they'll actually set you an EPC. So that's just a little tip right there for all those people who have this dialed in and they're sending traffic. And maybe your EPC might be fluctuating because sometimes that can happen. You can talk to your affiliate manager and they will set you an EPC. So that's like a guaranteed EPC. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what is going to be the next day and everything like that. It's just going to average out. All right, guys. So that's all I got for this video. If you like this video or you feel I left anything out, you want to add something in, leave it in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.